Hey, I'm comedian Colin Chamberlain, and I drive a 2019 Honda HRV from Rorick. Hey, I'm Ray Zawadney. I'm a stand up comedian, and I drive a certified pre owned Toyota Corolla from Rorick. Today, we're talking about road trips the do's, the don'ts, the highs, the lows, and everything in between. One, you need a water and a fun drink. I always say a water and like a Diet Coke or like a good iced tea. This is a personal preference, but I eat this almost every time I'm traveling, is a brown sugar and cinnamon pop tart. I like like a string cheese, maybe do a little beef jerky, and usually some Pringles and a Diet Dr. Pepper. Some, maybe a cookie. I like sweet, salty, something to wash it down. I'm eating a whole feast while I'm on a road trip. I think the biggest thing about being a road trip co-pilot, passenger, is that your job is to support the driver. That means open the snacks, open the water, help with the navigation, make sure the music is good, you're controlling the temperature, the driver is focusing on the road. I think I'm a great road trip partner and it's mostly because I'm the ultimate DJ and I like to play songs that I know my driver will like because you want your driver to be comfortable, you want them to be having a good time and you want them to be in a good mood. I'm not going to go to sleep on you, I'm not going to totally stop paying attention, I'll keep looking out for the road and making sure we get to the destination. I'm the goose to your maverick. Someone did this to me once. They said, I'm gonna run into the store and grab some things, some snacks for the trip. And I figured, this is handheld. Chips, pretzels. They came out with two to-go salads with forks. <laughs> if you have to give me a fork to eat it while I'm driving, I can't eat it while I'm driving. It's handheld, burgers, fries, nuggets. That's why those places exist. When somebody doesn't take their garbage out of your car, they get out and then you see they left two Diet Coke bottles and a Reese cup wrapper just laying on your floor of your passenger seat and then there's crumbs everywhere. They didn't even do the dust off when they left. Only when I have to be. Sometimes I have been with some drivers that need backseat driving. They need people to tell them to look at the road, when to hit the brakes, and yes, yes I am. The answer is yes, I'm a backseat driver. You have to have like the coldest air conditioning. I want to have air conditioning that is so cold that I actually have to turn it off at points where I go, I'm get, I'm uncomfortable. I do have a tendency to answer my phone when I'm in the middle of a conversation with somebody and answer it on speakerphone and not let anybody know that I'm on the phone. I'll just take a call with a family member or a friend and I have noticed that some people don't like that. I could be a little more open to stops. I don't like stopping when I'm on the road to the point where if my passenger has to hit a rest stop to go to the bathroom, I'm passive aggressive for like the next 10 to 15 minutes. I could chill out and relax and, and just kind of enjoy the ride as well as the destination. And that's actually just a tip for life.